It's a hurricane. It's we, right now. It's kind of sunny. Things are doing fine. You know, everyone thinks the, the Fed can handle this. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or Superstorm Sandy or uh, yeah, Sandy or or uh, Andrew or something like that. And it's you, you, you better brace yourself. Jamie Dimon, the J.P. Morgan Chase CEO, is predicting an economic hurricane caused by the war in Ukraine, rising inflation pressures and interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve. The J.P. Morgan Chase and co-chief executive officers said at a conference sponsored by Alliance Bernstein Holdings on Wednesday. Right now, it's kind of sunny. Things are doing fine. Everyone thinks the Fed can handle this, Diamond said at the Bernstein conference. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or superstorm, Sandy. You better brace yourself, Diamond said, adding that J.P. Morgan Chase is preparing for a non-benign environment and bad outcomes. Diamond said that the economy is distorted by inflation. He's also worried that the Fed is starting to unwind its bond portfolio, a process known as quantitative tightening at the same time it is raising interest rates. That's something that the market is not prepared for, Diamond said, adding that people will be writing about this in history books for 50 years. But the Fed is in a bind. Diamond said the central bank must raise rates because of surging housing prices and other inflation pressures. He stressed that he still thinks the U.S. banking system is in great shape and can withstand these challenges. Welcome back to Savvy Finance. We want to use this opportunity to thank all our viewers and subscribers for your support. Thanks for watching our videos. Diamond also said that J.P. Morgan Chase is going to do all it can to attract talent to stay on top of the financial world. The CEO said the bank will be religious about paying well to keep its best workers. The Fed is cutting off the pandemic-era flow of cheap money and tightening credit as it aims to bring down consumer prices to acceptable levels. But the Fed's hawkish policy shift has spooked investors who fear it will result in a recession. Meanwhile, the Russia-Ukraine war has prompted further disruptions to global supply chains and contributed to an international energy crisis that has resulted in record high gas prices for American motorists with benchmark oil prices well above $100 per barrel. J.P. Morgan is bracing ourselves and we're going to be very conservative with our balance sheet, Diamond added. Diamond's comments show that his meteorological take on the markets has darkened further from just a few weeks ago when he told analysts during a conference call that he saw storm clouds on the horizon for the U.S. economy due to the unprecedented market conditions. I hope those things disappear and go away. We have a soft landing and the war is resolved, Diamond said at the time. I just wouldn't bet on all of that. Diamond has expressed major concerns about the long-term effects of the Russia-Ukraine war. Earlier this month, he called the brutal invasion a potential disaster for the global economy that could trigger an economic recession. Larry Summers, a former Treasury Secretary and White House economic advisor under two Democratic presidents, told CNN the unfortunate, painful fact is that with such low unemployment and high inflation as the U.S. is experiencing now, a recession is almost certain within the next two years. For now, Americans are just going to have to get used to higher prices, according to President Joe Biden. The idea we're going to be able to click a switch, bring down the cost of gasoline is not likely in the near term. Nor is it with regard to food, Biden said at the White House on Wednesday. The war in Ukraine had an effect on fuel and food prices. COVID-19 variants continue to affect workers and snarl supply chains. Who knows what unexpected thing will come next? Inflation is now the top priority at the White House, Biden said Tuesday ahead of a meeting with Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and Yellen. Gas prices hit a fresh record of $4.67 a gallon on Wednesday, confounding some experts who had thought prices might fall by now. What do you make of the J.P. Morgan CEO declaration? Do you believe the U.S. economy is in a bigger trouble than initially anticipated? Let us know your thoughts in the comment. Thanks for watching.